Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you're brand new to Power BI and you don't know what the heck to do. Well, don't worry. I'm going to help you get through all this stuff. All right. It's going to be, this will be a short little video to help you get started working in Power BI. All right. Uh, my name's Chris Wagner. Welcome to Chris BI. Uh, this is the home of where we transform people like you into data gods. All right. Let's get into it. I know. I know. I know. Like there's two different groups that we talk about, like getting new to Power BI, and we're gonna delve into those two different groups, all right? There we go, okay. So the first group, and this is honestly, everyone should get started here, okay? But I'm, I'm gonna introduce the two groups to you so you understand these groups. Um, uh, first, it's it's your Power BI consumers. And who are who's a Power BI consumer? A Power BI consumer is anyone, anyone, who, who's like working in and consuming reports and working in the, the Power BI service. The reason you should get trained up in this and understand how this works is just like at one point in time, you had a class in Excel that showed you how to open Excel and how to save a workbook and how to create a formula and all those little tiny things that you now just innately know. There's that equivalent of knowledge needs to occur in Power BI. So. We're gonna start you off with getting started with Power BI. It's about it's a 90 minute course. It runs you through some of the most some of the the basic features, the terminology, the things you need to really get started in working in the service. And I get it, I get it. It's new and it's potentially a little scary uh, because hey, you know, new things new things are scary. And maybe that sound is better now. <laughs> um, but we're going to help you get through this with this little course, all right? Now, this isn't everything, but it's enough to get you up and started in the service, okay? The next thing is if you're going to go on and you're going to start making Power BI reports yourself, right? Like you're actually going to go in and you want to build a report. Who is this? This is anyone who goes in and builds an Excel workbook today. You might th be thinking, holy cow, lots of us build Excel workbooks. That's really true. There's gonna be a lot of you that go out and build Power BI stuff, but take it slow. If you're mostly a consumer of Excel workbooks, you know, you mostly get them sent to you and you go through and you use it, great. Start with the, get started and just take a pause there and only move on to this next step when you kind of have the need to start to do it. But if you're one of those people who creates Excel workbooks and you love working Excel, love doing this stuff, I got great news for you. There's a whole course on it. I'm gonna go to that in just a second, but I wanted to reassure you, everything we do in Power BI started in Excel. So if you've been using Excel and you love Excel, there are tons of skills that you have from the Excel world that can translate into Power BI. And frankly, you're gonna learn a ton of skills in Power BI that you can then transition back into Excel. So it's just gonna make your entire skill set richer and better, okay? Now the next one is the, the, the main Microsoft Power BI uh, training path. Now there's there are hundreds upon hundreds of courses out there, I'm not, Stop, stop, don't worry about hundreds and hundreds of Microsoft courses, okay? We're just gonna focus in on this one. This one's gonna, and here, look, there's a link even to the overview I was just talking about. Um, it's gonna start with, okay, let's get started with analytics, okay? We're gonna talk about how we do data analysis. It's 36 minutes, pretty quick thing to get through. It's all interactive, it's all self-paced. This is not gonna be a problem. You're, you're gonna do just fine, all right? Next case, next module is 20 minutes and it's getting started building in Power BI, okay? You're gonna need to have Power BI desktop installed and I think you'll actually have to have that for all the courses, so it'll be good for that. Then it goes on to, to a course around modeling data in Power BI. This is a big component in Power BI, so don't uh, underestimate the effort that you're gonna put in here. Uh, like take your time going through this stuff. There's gonna be a whole bunch of different courses here. Look, this first one's 30 minutes, then we have 46 minutes, and then one that's like 83 minutes, okay? So there's quite a bit of time that you're gonna spend in this, and this is just your first steps in that space, okay? So be aware that, th that this is a thing, but it's going to be okay. This is all free, you can get through this, no problem, okay? The next thing we go on to, oh, and f for awareness, this whole modeling portion, 
the rule of thumb I, I've always heard that works best. Spend 80%, 80 to 90% of your time on your model and 10 to 15% of the time on the report. Now you're gonna be doing those together, but make sure you're investing time in, in your modeling because most of the time when you, when you run into like, ah, how do I do this? It's gonna be, you need, a, you need a better data model to do it. And you can do this through this course, okay? Or at least you can get started in it with this course. Um, then you go on to like report design and report build out. This is the introduction to this stuff. It'll get you up and running um, by the end of this, like what, two, three hours, whatever it is, you, you're gonna feel really confident that you can build out reports. There's another learning path that's on like advanced reporting capabilities. I highly recommend it. It's fantastic. It's by our friend, Chris Hamill. He does a great job with his reports. Like it's really great. And then it recommends like, hey, you know what? This is just, no matter what you're doing, either as a consumer or a creator, there is a ton, a ton of stuff out there. Uh, it recommends go get more like uh, instructor-led training so you can ask questions. All this channel, ask questions down below. Happy to answer that. Uh, there's tons of other people that are out there online that'll help answer questions and whatnot, but, but know that that's you're likely going to need to get that or want to get that to move on or else it's just going to make perfect sense to you and you're going to laugh and think oh it's so easy um but don't feel bad if that's not you okay <laughs> lots and lots of people get power bi training every single day all right and then the last thing is hey a great thing to do is go out and get certified the power bi data An analyst associate um is a fantastic certification it really dots the i's and crosses the t's across all, some real critical areas uh, of learning to get you up and going, all right? Now, I hope you found this helpful in like understanding like how the heck do I get started in Power BI? Either you're a consumer and you just, you're gonna understand how to work with the, the web portal and just the stuff that's coming in, all the little features and like what the heck a bookmark is. Um, uh, you're gonna learn all that stuff, right? Um, and if you're creating content, that that's sh that's a great starter to get you up and running it's like less than eight hours so if you if you set aside you know an hour a, a day you could get through this in less than two weeks all right so this is going to be an exciting journey for you and i know you are going to enjoy this just like i do all right don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this useful. Uh, follow me. I talk about data all of the time. So I talk about Power BI, I talk about the broader Microsoft Fabric. Uh, and you know, it's lo would love to hear from you guys. You have a great day. Peace. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight and advanced technical expertise to uncover and solve your digital transformation challenges. If you're interested in learning more, check out our website at bakertilly.com digital.